This is a quick little reminder video on how to place beads in your knitting. I just learned this recently because for some odd reason I was fiending to put beads in my knitting, at least for future projects, um, especially this one shawl that I'm currently making called the Exponential Shawl, which is free on Ravelry. And I thought with the lace work, I may want to try put uh, putting beads on. So I went to a shop online called Twisted Knits. Um, and they've got all these little beads, these boxes, and so many more. $5 boxes. Um, and each box carries approximately 360 some odd beads in them. So I've got this rosy, kind of a coppery one. It's beautiful blue. This is a dark emerald. And kind of like a multicolored purple. And an even darker. I think it's a little bit darker. Emerald. Yeah. This is definitely the darker one compared to this guy. There's the better color to show it. So, yep. Uh, so, you get the beads on their own. And I had to order separately, which I didn't mind. It comes in a pack of two these tiny little, I have no idea what you call these things. Uh, they call them bead aids. So it's the only thing that you can call them, but they're very, very tiny, extremely thin. There we go, very thin. And it's flimsy, so if you pull too hard, you can probably stretch it apart. But you get it in a pack of two. And the instructions right here. And you would end up sliding your beads. You'd hold the two arms together and just, I'll do it this way, place the arms onto or into the bead, just like that. And it just slides up and down. Now I have seen where people, um, they string beads onto their working yarn. And if you have a project with 700 some odd beads or even more something crazy that's a lot of threading um with a sewing uh needle and your yarn and you're just literally threading every bead onto the strand so that way you can knit them on as you go that in itself is time consuming um so me, personally, I wouldn't do that. Um, I've seen people use crochet hooks, but you definitely have to have a crochet hook where it is smaller. The hook itself is smaller than the inside circumference of the bead because they come in all shapes and sizes, obviously, but when you get to be this small, you definitely need um, a lace hook shawl so to get into it, I just started knitting plain old stockinette and then placed my beads right on using the little bead aid needle thingy. So I'm going to show how I do this. And I'm just placing them at random, just to remind myself how to do this. Okay. 
Okay, just knit a couple stitches. Now I'm going to get my little needle aid thingamabob and I'm going to stick one arm through this knit stitch. So just push it right under the leg. It's right in there. And then just push it all the way through so it's at the end, so it's pulling. And then take that stitch off. Now what I'll do is hold those arms together, grab my bead, and hold the arms together and slide it down all the way. And you can see there's the bead with the yarn. You're going to pull, let's see, there. Pull that bead right on down over the yarn and then put your yarn back onto your needle and then take off that little prong and then you just knit oops you're going to just knit that stitch and the bead is locked on. Let me go two more, do it again. And slide that on. Prongs are separate. So now it's pulled, pull it off. Grab a bead that needle, both little needle arms through, pull all the way down. Let me see if I can get this to show. There we go. And just push it right down. And then put that stitch right back on. And then just kind of get that to pop off. And then knit that. Now I'm sure every pattern has its own directions on how to do this, but I'm just basically getting the hang of this. And then I can always change up if the pattern says to do something else. But hopefully it won't. Just take that off. I will say don't lose, if you can help it, don't lose these because just two of them cost $8. So I'm sure you could probably get um, like a little piece of wire if you go to a hardware store. Let me move this because I'm trying to show you how to get that on there. There you go. Just slide it right on down all the way. Um, a thin piece of wire and bend it into that V shape and you can probably use it in case you end up losing your bead aid little needle things.
Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a bead on this side. And it doesn't matter if you go with the short end or the long end first, just as long as it gets on there. Take it off the needle, hold the arms together, grab your bead, put it on, and again, we're just going to push the bead down, pull that little needle guy off, and then knit. I don't think this will work on the pearl side. Perhaps there is a way, and I'll try it in a second. But it definitely works on knit stitches very easily. Um, and they all pop out on the knit side. You can see how they kind of stick out. When I lay this as flat as I can, just like that. And on the pearl side, they kind of stick in. They lay flat. So there you go. You can see how flat, let me try to stretch it out a little bit more. There. You can see how they just lay inside of the material compared to the knit side where they clearly all just bump. So they show themselves on the right side versus the wrong side. So even uh, if you were to wear this in a sweater or a shawl, you probably won't feel this. This is pretty darn smooth. Um, but on this side, you can definitely feel all of these beads. And plus, if you're a texture person and you like noise, you'd go crazy just playing with your garment. Um, let me go ahead and try the pearl side, because that I have not tried, but I don't know if, I don't think it will work. Let me do this, and we'll find out together. Let me get across, across to an empty space, a little bit further in. Okay, let me use this one. Okay. Gonna pull that off and do the same exact thing I did before. Pull that together. Grab the bead. Put that on. Just slide that yarn through. And, come on, get that back onto the needle, and it should work, it looks like. Yep. Now the question is, will the bead pop out on the pearl side versus on the knit side? So let's go ahead and go all the way over a little bit more. And I'll do it on this last one. And just pull it till it won't go any further. Take that off. And let's pearl. Okay. 
Okay, if it will let me pearl. There we go. Yeah, I can already tell on this last one it's sticking out. So it depends on what your pattern wants. So you can see how it's smooth, but then you've got that bump. That's the pearl stitch. And smoothing that out. You can see that's the pearl stitch over there. That one's pretty smooth in there. But looks like it still shows itself a little bit on the knit side. So it doesn't really make a difference. Let's see if I can flatten this out and see if there's any difference. Yes, a little bit. Just a little. It does push down. It pushes inward. This is the knit side. So you can see how it's trying to push backwards and hide itself. And it wants to pop out on the pearl side. So you would just have to follow what your pattern says. But I would think most patterns would want um, the beads to pop out on the right side at all times unless there's a reason to have it push backwards into the garment which would be kind of odd but at least we now know but this is how you put the beads on and I'll do it for one more row And these come in, they look like Tic Tacs, those old school little candies or um, mints. This is the one I was using. So it's just a pop top. And just pour your little beads out. Hopefully not losing them in the process. Okay, I'll go ahead and get my little needle bead aid thing, put it in the stitch, pull it out. Thread the bead onto both arms and then push the bead all the way down putting the stitch back. This will definitely be time consuming, but I think I'd rather do this than sit there and string so many odd beads onto a skein of yarn and then I'd have to roll the skein back up. Because first I have to unwind it and then string it on. But I get why people would do that because all you have to do at that point is just knit and pull the bead up along the yarn where you're ready to place it. And I'm just pulling while I was holding the bead and lost the stitch in the process. Put that back on. And then just knit over that. Do a 
Another one. That way it's holding. I'll do it one last time. So again, take your little bead aid, slide it into the leg of the stitch, pulling it off, that way it hooks on. Hold those arms together, grab your bead, put both arms through the bead. And there it is, and just pull down and then slide it right back on to the left needle so that you can knit across. And that's how you put beads into a knitted project using this little bead aid thingy doodad